How do you break your fasts? Um, so this is a really good question um, and one which actually is really simple at one level and also has some details in terms of how advisable it might be to do certain things. How one breaks one's fast most basically is just at the time once the, one knows the sun has set, that uh, Maghrib has entered, the sun has set, the disk has, has disappeared, and timetables will show that anyway, um, you just simply form the intention of no longer fasting and breaking the fast as an act of ibadah, and that could be through doing any of the things that, that actually would ordinarily break the fast, eating or drinking something, etc. That's the, the simple answer. Um, what are the things you should not do when fasting? Uh, try not to do the following things when fasting. Um, try not to, uh, when uh, kind of in those few moments before the fast, when you'd maybe be making dua to Allah, get engaged in frivolity or worse still, arguments and, uh, and, and debates which kind of will make the atmosphere not that pleasant. Because we know the hadith, famous hadith that the fasting person, you know, you don't really, you're not meant to engage in disputations and arguments and fighting and bickering. So this is the end of the fast as you kind of present it before Allah. So try and make sure that same spirit carries on into the iftar time. Uh, also try not to overeat. That might sound very uh, tempting to do the exact opposite. But in doing that, actually, it's not really very easy and conducive for one's system, for one's taraweeh thereafter, for the night worship uh, uh, that comes uh, afterwards, uh, for the reciting of the Quran. And actually just you end up feeling this whole kind of blood sugar imbalance that suddenly shoots up and, and goes down. So kind of staggering it, maybe just breaking the fast with something light, healthy, uh, not very fizzy drinks oriented and, 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 and the like, something natural, uh, and, 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 and healthy, some dates, some water, and the like. Um, and then to another thing not to do is to delay the prayer, uh, you know, because of a very, you know, having a huge, long, large meal, every day delaying the prayer. That's not really what one wants to do. Uh, perhaps some people delay it altogether, which is obviously, uh, you know, got the problems around it that you're aware of, you know, because the prayer is required to be prayed on time. Inna salata kanat al mu'minina kitab and mawquta. So to, to have a few uh, morsels, um, you know, obviously basically satiated and, and quenched one's thirst as well, go and offer one's prayers and then ideally return back and then have uh, the iftar after your, your, your prayers, your, your sunnah, etc. Um, so those are some things not to, to do. Uh, of course, there is the dhikr which uh, is mentioned. There's some discussion regarding its authenticity, but there are the uh, dhikrs that can be said uh, at the point of one's breaking of one's fast. And inshallah, that is something good as well. One of the things you can try and do, of course, which would be brilliant, is to help share your break fast, your breakfast, your, your meal at the end of the fast with someone else. Uh, you know, just to share in the act of breaking bread together, as we say, is a great act. It's an act of, of, of um, forming a bond, a connection, care. It's showing regard and, and weight to the actual deed of fasting itself, let alone feeding someone, but actually the weight, the weight of them fasting. And you get the ajar and thawab, the reward and grace from God, from Allah, for actually honoring their act of fasting as well, which is done for his sake. All of those things are part and parcel of the etiquettes how to break one's fast.